There's two different versions of GarageBand. There's one for the iPad, the iOS, and then there's another for uh, a laptop or computer for uh, Mac OS X. So I'm going to be showing you how to transfer them between each other. Your iPad might be one like mine as managed for education, so I cannot plug it into my computer and just download the file. So I do have a workaround, and here we go. Step one, start up GarageBand. There are the different projects that we have. I have to click Edit over here. That makes all of the files that I have here start to jiggle. So I have to select the one that I want to export. I've selected it. And now up here at the top is a little box that has the arrow, and that's my send. So I'm going to click on that send. Now you do need to have email available to you on your iPad for this to work. There we go. So email comes up and I'll click on mail. Hard to see this with my lights but it says the uh, the files name and all of that is good. So now I'm gonna hit email. Once I do that it starts to save my file. As the file is being saved, it brings up the email uh, interface. So I'm going to send it to my class, and that's GarageBand. Okay, I've got my address in there, and if you look down, there's the attached file. That attached file is an M4A. It has to be an M4A in order for me to get it into the Mac OS X version of GarageBand. So I'm ready to go. Send. Done. Now here's how to take your M4A file and put it back into GarageBand so that you can continue to edit it with the full GarageBand laptop tools. So I'm going to start GarageBand and I'm going to get a new project and I'm going to call it How to Import M4A file. That's going to be in my GarageBand file on the laptop. Create. Okay, so here's my GarageBand interface. I'm going to pick up my M4A which is on the desktop and just drag it in. That created a new track I can put that loop wherever I want and it's ready to go.